Hello Brains or Ahoj Mozgi in Slovak. My name is Karolina and I'm a TEDx organizer who found Jessica's video on YouTube and now she's here doing the TEDx talk in Slovak National Theatre. Hello Brains. We're walking the streets of Dusseldorf because my brain has no idea what what time or day it is. We were gonna go out last night in Dusseldorf, but we passed out and slept right through dinner or what would have been dinner. So now we're starving and going, okay, what could we eat? And the first thing that's open is bakeries at six in the morning. So we're going to a bakery. It's gonna take us like an hour to walk there and there's no Uber here, so. Anyway, we're just traipsing through Europe with a How To ADHD shirt on. Uh, we're trolling for brains. <laughs> and we found one. We found one at the Vienna airport. Hello, brains. So I did a TEDx talk yesterday or the day before yesterday, I don't even know. We were working on this talk on the plane on the way over. I've never been on an airline that gives you these. <laughs> I love that we're going to do a TED talk and that's the most exciting part of your day. <laughs> so tell me how you feel. Tired. Yeah, you ready? The talk isn't done. <laughs> no, it's not done. Change my mind, I'm going back. <laughs> She's going. Too tired, too tired. <laughs> I'm too tired to go back up the escalator. That was the most intense boot camp ever because we were working on this talk on the plane on the way over and we, we still hadn't finished the talk so we pulled an all-nighter finishing the talk. Like, what am I presenting? I, I'm gonna introduce this speech within a speech. So I'll read this and then we got we gotta, we gotta go on. And what yep. time is it? Uh, let's not talk about that. Okay. By the way, we're still working on this talk. In less than 12 hours, I am rehearsing it. <laughs> okay. This talk was built by brains and hearts, for brains and hearts. I had so much help from you guys. All of the Facebook comments, the misconceptions that you're running into, and we also had help from the Weiler family. Rory and his mom came on. She said to give Rory a shout out, so I'm giving Rory the shout Rory, out. You're, Rory, you're, you're, shout out! You've been shouted out! <laughs> so Rory's mom, Teresa, teaches kids, uh, like I think seventh graders, how to create and perform TED Talks. So she jumped on Skype with me, while changing a baby's diaper and doing any number of other things, she's quite a superwoman, and sat there with me and helped me punch up the script. And then when we were done with it, Edward was awake by then, and so then we went through and punched up the script, and it was just Hold on, where are we going? I don't know. Anyway, we had to figure out where we were going because we're also very hungry. So we finished the talk and, and this is like 48 hours before I perform it for the world. Mm -hmm. And Edward has not made a single slide. Like no, we had an because idea. we again, we were waiting until we had the script right. to the place where we felt Which like it was right. We felt was reasonable, but yeah. apparently it's not how it was supposed to have gone down. By the way, he made 90 slides on PowerPoint after not having ever done it before. And we submitted it and everybody was like, no, less, cut it, <laughs> cut it. But then once we did the rehearsal, they were like, oh, no, no, that's good. <laughs> What's gonna happen, Jess? I'm gonna practice my TED talk. So you're gonna walk out onto the TED stage? Yep, I'm gonna walk out onto the TED stage, TEDx Bratislava. Yep, and I'm doing it now. What they don't tell you when you're doing a TED talk is it's essentially like writing a one-act play. It's an important play. It's gonna probably be one of the most important plays you ever write, so you know that going in. The part you don't really think about, or at least I wasn't thinking about is, oh, and then you have to memorize it. Like, you have to do all the set design for all the slides and everything, and you've written the play, and you make sure the words are great, and then you're like, oh, we have to account for, like, a human being. Right. You, in this case, <laughs> who has to, like, put all this in their brain and just be able to spit back out the most important play you'll ever write. Yeah. So right before it happened, I realized like my heart is going a mile a minute. I'm so anxious. This is really scary. And I was like, I'm going to meditate. So I grabbed my phone and I used this thing called um, Coherence Heart Rate Plus. And you just put your you put your finger on your camera and it measures your heart rate. And Dude, little... and your heart rate was initially up it was over like, like 140, wasn't it? Yeah, it was like... up over 140 and my heart rate's usually really low. So yeah. we did that and then I just cuddled up against him and we, we talked and my heart rate back down to like 89, 90. Yeah. And then I went on and my heart rate probably promptly jumped back up through 160. Hello, Brains. 
afterward, I cried so hard. And if you guys saw it and you're wondering why I was crying so hard, I was crying so hard because I knew how important this talk was. I knew there are still so many kids coming to me and saying, I am struggling and my parents won't get me help. They don't believe me. They think that I'm just lazy. And it just breaks my heart. And I knew how important it was to have a talk that would help people understand. It's one thing to say it. It's another thing for people to hear it. And so when I knew that they heard it, I, I just broke down. It was so important to me that that, that message came through and, and knowing that it did meant the world to me. And I had several people come up to me afterward and tell me that it made them think differently about their own situation. I didn't know about their ADHD? Their own situation or their kids. So it made a difference. You guys made a difference. We don't have like enough time to do all that. We got to be gone in like three hours. I know. I'm gonna eat all of it. That. Oh, that doesn't sound like a good idea. Hello, Veins. I just wanted to add a little message to the end of this to thank you guys so much for your patience while we went off to VidCon and TEDx and came back and were exhausted. We've rested our brains, made some awesome connections, and we're ready to go. We're back to making regular content. And planning a wedding. Oh also planning a wedding. And to Carolina and the entire TEDx Bratislava team, to Teresa and the whole Weiler family, to everybody who contributed on social media and in the comments, to all of my amazing volunteers, and especially to the Brain Board and all of my brains on Patreon. You helped make a TEDx talk, and we got a standing ovation. Good job. I wish I could show you the whole thing now, but it's still being edited by the TEDx team. It should be up sometime in September, but I will see you next week. Good to be back. Bye, Reigns.